Hello and welcome back YouTube to another episode of the Great War Mod for Hearts of Iron 4 as Austria-Hungary. We are doing pretty well for ourselves right now. I gotta be honest, we are doing pretty well. Um, however, Germany has started to be invaded, so we've quickly rushed out some forces to try and take them on. They don't actually have any artillery, and they are all green, so they are going to be sucky in combat, but we'll try our best. Uh, someone's trying to invade us navally. That means in our navels. Uh, mm, our navy's getting repaired. I can't really blame them. I'm going to pull a load of the forces off there onto the main one there. War of Movement. Excellent. And I'm going to be in this really, really silly plan. What we need is this. Right, we've got War of Movement, which means we can now pick any other tree to start in. Oh yeah. Let's get our Doctrine on. What do you think? Mobile Warfare, Superior Firepower, Grand Battle Plan, Mass Assault. What do you think we should go for? I mean, we don't really have the crazy numbers for Mass Assault. Um, Grand Battle Plan is okay. Superior Firepower and Mobile Warfare are definitely the stronger of the two there. Um, and this does give a buffs to the number of population we get. But at the same time, this is pretty powerful in superior firepower. That might be a good idea to build trenches in Crimea. Octopal, you're, you're correct. Good idea. <laughs> Dorit, I should invade Germany. Mm, I'm not feeling it. Mobile warfare, mobile warfare, mobile warfare, mobile warfare. Five, five, five. You know what? Let's have a poll. Let's have a poll. Um, let's have a poll between uh, mobile warfare and firepower. So, mobile or fire, mobile or fire. And I will decide. I can store the research for 30 days, so we'll go on for 30 days about that. Oh, naval invasion. That's fine. Dangerous naval invasion. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ooh. Yeah, they've, um, they've expanded the area they're pushing from. I'm going to move you over to here. Okay, the voting's going. Ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two. They're getting the experience now, though. Ninety-three. How much longer can I hold this research for? In a few days. All right. Let us do, 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 construct. Trenches. That should help. Get rid of the uh, cavalry. Send it over here. Okay. Just chill for a bit. Relax. Breathe deeply. Get ready to take on this uh, much larger force. And let's close that pole. And firepower wins massively over mobile warfare. Okay, firepower it is. In the meantime... How are we doing over here? Good, 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 good. Let's get a bit of a push. Now, the game doesn't think we can do it, but as soon as I hit yes, it does. The game's suddenly like, actually, yeah, you can totally take this off. Um, right, let's also help over here. 
that appears our help is needed. No, you'll not expand any further. You will die. Also important, more steel. It's very nice that the Netherlands are staying uh, out of this one. We kind of want them. We need all that lovely, lovely rubber. If they actually like properly joined the war, we'd have some issues. Phosgene shells, lovely. Everybody loves gas. Um, advanced hand tools, production cap efficiency plus three percent. Most devastating situation I've pulled back a month from? Uh, probably the one in Russia, when I was India and I like had territory up here and I got attacked and I could barely hold. And... That said, as Denmark, it was pretty dicey when I had the area there and Germany pushed back and I was holding for like about a year and a half. Okay, we're going to stop our push. Really just needs more orc. So many field guns needed. Now, let's just make sure that we are going to reinforcements first. Yeah, reinforcements should be priority. We've banned our minority languages. Let's also oppress some minorities as well for all the buffs. Buffs are important, people. Make sure to oppress the minorities for those buffs. It's totally not, like, evil at all. Alright, we've got another tank. I'm very tempted to send the tank over here. You know what? I'm going to do it. And in return, one of you can come over here. Okay. We're doing okay otherwise. Trenches being built there in Crimea. Ah. Right, we need to uh, defend over here. Garrison this area. Fancy our chances with that one. All right, free military factories. Uh, we desperately need a lot more field guns. We could also do more early fighters for the air support, which we are currently just ignoring. Yeah, we should really do that one. How are we doing for uh, support equipment? We're doing okay on support equipment. We could probably take a few off of that. Look at the resistance map. Yeah, let's a quick look at the resistance map. Ah! I haven't added grease to it, and that would be why. Easy enough. Problem solved. We have them surrounded. Let's do this. And Germany's left it to us, which I find really offensive. Germany's like, yeah, you just deal with that. Like, no, this is your problem. I want my forces back. Reinforce concrete. Offensive bunker. And it was building a land fort. <gasps> we can build a land fort. Yay. Uh, honestly, most of my wars are wars of offense right now, so I don't really need the land fort. Resource gain, somewhat useful. Supply consumption minus one, I will take that. Look at that, Germany's actually getting some uh, good defense and... I'm not actually doing any pushes. All the pushes are failing. Oh, actually, a push here is succeeding. Uh, failing now. 
But that's all because I'm doing the defense over here. And you know what? I rather not, would not be. Even with that encirclement penalty. Okay. Cut out your own leisure. I really want that unit back. If I can get them over to Russia, we could probably make some headway. Send our emergency, send them over there, and uh, I guess another heavy tank would help. Send a heavy tank over. Alright, we've just got our next fighter ahead of time. Let's upgrade our artillery. Let's start making those new fighters. Upgrade the operational range as well. Design is too expensive. Oh! It's naval I've got maxed out. Okay. Yeah, switch over to that. Check the US war. Good idea. It's pretty stationary. I'll be completely honest. It's a little bit lame. Maybe the US is only in one of the wars and stuff. Maybe they aren't fighting each other. Yeah, they aren't fighting each other. They're both allied to other factions who are fighting each other, but they aren't actually fighting each other. Hmm. Meanwhile... Press the minorities. Right, we've got all our buffs. Let's do it. Um, Austrian HQ. Buster Doctrines. And I will take half of you away and place you up here. All right. Oh, we're starting to succeed, actually, over here. Now we're not. God damn it. Do we, like, have air superiority? No. Can I place airplanes here? Not there, but I can here. Okay. Right, let's get ourselves some fighters up in the air. And that way we can get some air superiority going on. I can't call Mexico in. I'm not the faction leader. If I could call Mexico in, I would have done it. It would be amazing. US-Mexico war. Mm-hmm. Totally feeling that. Okay, we've got S priority now. They are not winning, though. Tanks are certainly helping. They're owning southern France. Yeah, a push here seems to have stalled a little bit. I think we can keep it going a little bit longer, though. We've got enough infantry equipment now. Pull back a little bit on that. Not too much. And then we're probably going to need another field gun, to be honest. Really, really boring. Well, actually, like, what speed do the infantry go, right? They go four kilometers. If they had a proper, like, heavy field gun, they'd still go four kilometers. Maybe it's time to, like, flip this around and just start having, like, the really heavy siege mortars around. Maybe we should have, like, special teams of engineers who are small but have, like, tons of siege mortars. Dedicated siege mortar units. It might not be a bad idea.
Manpower lot, we've got 5.84 million. Like, we could maybe decrease the manpower a little bit for our laws. That might actually not be a bad idea. Switch back to limited conscription. That doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> because so much of it is from, like, buffs and stuff. Um, what do I want to grab? Resource gain efficiency? Yeah. Another tank. Oh, we finally did it. We kicked them out. Okay, let's aid this front now. You got this, go. Okay. If and when we attack, this is to be your assault plan. Not that you're probably going to attack for quite a while. But you can prepare for it. Ooh! We're starting to win on the Russian front now. Could do have extra troops to be able to fill out that, though. Really want to win over here quickly so that we can get the troops over. Also, going to divert you over to any nav any air bases over here? Seriously? There we go. One. Can't reach all the way over there. Oh, well. We'll get support in Belarus. Why not? Right. And let us grab massive effort. Want to take factories off the planes and focus ground troops? Uh, because right now, like, our ground troops are nearly fine. The issue is just getting these uh, field guns out. And I'm almost tempted to switch over to the heavy artillery. Mm. But they've got a max speed of three kilometers. Tempting, though. Very tempting. I think we won't actually start having dedicated units of heavy artillery. Just a few of them. Um, edit. Duplicate. Super artillery unit. Where is artillery symbol? Give me artillery symbol. Ah, that'll do. I'm going to call them RT divisions. Um, we're going to remove, 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 and then replace you with heavy, 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 heavy RT. Ooh, re-equipped infantry. What is a re-equipped infantry? Defense is higher. Thousand a hundred, you are a thousand a hundred. What is re-equipped infantry as opposed to infantry? Does anyone in chat know? Plans after Russia, uh, Italy, Switzerland, um, possibly into Turkey. What if, do anyone know what like re-equipped infantry is as opposed to infantry? Is infantry with a new helmet? <laughs> Fair enough. It's like the modern one. Okay, well, we'll start using modern then. That's what I thought it might be. Buff attack should be crazy good. Max speed is still four kilometers per. Huh. Let's actually cancel that. If I were to give you a heavy RT, as opposed to normal RT, 
Your max speed is still the same. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start producing that in droves. Absolutely droves. I want lots and lots of heavy artillery. And we're going to start replacing it. Right, we can do this. <laughs> Those other infantry are so old hat. Oh, co. That was brilliant. Spanish flu. H1M1 influenza virus. <gasps> it's one of my mods. Fifty to hundred million of them are dead, presumably from the virus. Considering the events of the last few years, perhaps mankind has simply been punished for what it's done. Uh. Nineteen eighteen. The first world war does not look like it's got any sign of ending anytime soon. I mean, if I can help out with this front, then you know it'll go down really quick. But as it is, I'm a little bit restricted. Right. Um. We need two point four. Five hundred. Need some more motorized. Okay, let's change that so we're getting a little bit more motorized. One more gun. We should be good on that. Oh, how support equipment? Fine, okay. In fact, so fine, I might actually drop that down a little bit. Just a little. Right. Now, it's 1918, which means there are a load of upgrades we can do. Um, we can get early support weapons three. We'll need more resources. More rubber, please. Thank you. Yeah, Bulgaria can't get rid of, unfortunately, because it's in my faction. I would like to. Don't worry. I would like to. Are we done up here? Oh my god, we're not done up here. Can I just leave Germany to deal with this? Tanks come over and help over here. Select half of you. Oh, God, no, that's the tanks. I want these guys. There we go. Select half of you. Pull back. Come around. I'm going to surround them. How are they still holding out? God damn it. Early artillery. Fine. Wow. I'll take the early artillery upgrade. Breakthrough 12% with the flamethrower. Yes! Breakthrough 12% is amazing. We want that. 99. There we go. Okay, German, it's your show now. We're leaving. You've taken long enough. Have fun. This is pretty long for YouTube, I've said. I know, I know, I know. It's like half an hour now. But I really wanted to try and actually make some headway on Russia, but it's so slow going. I mean, it is the First World War. So, you know, that's fair enough. I do feel like we've made progress, though. We'll have to pick this up next week. I really do want to pick this up next week. I mean, do people want me to pick this up next week? I mean, you know, I'm cool if not, but I'd be just, you know, sad. <gasps> Ooh, more factories. Um, we will, yeah, we should probably grab more factories. I do think we should put, like, a badass, um, uh, airbase there. And then we'll just grab a load of military factories over here. Yes, continue this next week. Honestly, this mod is absolutely amazing. There are a couple of things I would change with it, just to do with the starting of the war, etc. 
But I understand, like, it's a little bit railroady to try and get you to this point where you actually have a great war rather than just, ah, and a spiral war somewhere else. Uh, I have the fedora up here. It's it's on Eevee. Oh, God damn it. No. Um. Yeah, no, I need to change my main tennis to mod infantry. It won't help out a lot. It'll help at one point of defense, but I will change them at the same time as I change over the heavy uh, artillery. The problem is, if I, if I dump them to the field, they'll want that um, field gun. And if I give them the field gun... Uh, sorry, if I dump them to the field, they'll want the field gun. Then the new people want the field gun, and I'll have even more in debt for field guns. Which is the problem I have at the moment, because I deploy people without the field guns, and they're desperately wanting it. Uh, so we definitely need to get a few more field guns out. But by replacing for heavy artillery, uh, we can do that a little bit quicker. I'm going to try and slowly roll it out if I can, but heavy artillery really should help because it's got a much higher attack. Oh, thank you very much, Co. Well, we'll guess we'll continue this next week. Um, unless something drastically important comes out. I really am liking this mod. I really am liking this mod. Astro Hungary to the rescue. Anyway, I've been Andrew Lysium. Um, so, YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you like, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Also, uh, you know, hit the little bell icon so that, um, you know, you'll actually get notified of videos, which just seems a bit pointless to do subscribe if it doesn't notify you, but whatever. Um, I'm sure that uh, Twitch, I uh, want to say goodbye in a second, so... Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. Goodbye, and if you want to catch the next stream um, Saturday, come by. We'll hopefully be able to take over the world's last three hungry. They're amazing. <laughs>